Craving of bearing on like 15 or 14 something Zachary like that? 17 actually I found out last night. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. He just turned 17 recently. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Gonna go ahead and get this started. I like the choice with, with Rob. I mean, I feel like this just works out uh, against the characters that use a lot of projectiles. Gyro can beat out a lot of stuff as we saw earlier with the, the YB set, the missiles, the charge shots, everything just got ate up by Gyro. Uh, okay, we got T. And Zachary, <laughs> Rob, man, it's it's interesting that Zachary has been like playing so many different characters. It just shows like how much prowess the uh, he has as a player, right? It, at first, we thought it was just the wolf, but it's like this man actually just runs locals and runs his region with whatever flavor of the week he has yeah, at the time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Galaxian combo, gonna put him off stage, tries to read a jump out of it, he's gonna make it back to the stage, Ooh. but just spaces right outside that getup attack. Great micro spacing from T. Yeah, even a, a bit of a bait there from T, because I mean, he, he spaced backwards enough that it made Zach Gray think he was, he was in range to get that getup attack, and sure enough, he was not. Mm -hmm. T already racking up so much percent too, these forward airs, chaining him across the stage, if you're not careful, uh, you can actually get chained into the blast zone. He did that to me in bracket earlier. So, right. oh, okay, into wow. the fire hydrant. Yo, oh Potential tech chase situation. No way. Yes, Dude, he will do setup. exactly that. Yep. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. T was not doing stuff like that to me. Like I was accustomed to getting hit by stuff like that in Smash Four. And I was telling Strides earlier, like you know what, like. You know, T's a T's a fun a fun pack man to play against. But <laughs> if he had done that to me, I would have been like, no, you're, you're not. <laughs> yeah. But one of the big things was that he was able to use his own gyro against him to be able to set up into that combo. That was huge for him. And he got a tech chase situation, juggling him up with the up airs. Man, Pac Man, he's got some combos now. He like you blink and all of a sudden you're at 30. Especially if you get the Galaxian too, you can increase the damage even more. Yeah, man. T. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He had that charge from a mile away. Dude, Zachary was totally safe on that platform. He decided to drop down through it. Maybe thinking that up smash was not going to scoop him up, but that hitbox was certainly deceptive. That was like a double mind game. It was like, <laughs> yeah. are you not going to release it? Okay, I, I guess I'll just I'll come, come down. down. And then I'll meet you halfway. T's like, psych! <laughs> Here we go. That's nutty, man. T yeah. completely obliterating Zachary in that game. Yeah. That just goes to show this is... This is the man who got second place, the man who runs his region, and dude, I, again, we were talking about this with Mars and, and T, the, the link, it's like T didn't even make it to top eight, like, mm -hmm, I, right. and yet he beat Shuton today, like, what is going on? Yeah, I mean, Ultimate Japan, Japan just beats Japan, good. like, every day of the week. Oh, set up, into the kill? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, Zero already. to death, Zach Ray was not happy about how game one game went, so he's gonna just... Pull ahead with a really big lead right now. Oh, he went really high for that and just used it there to protect himself. He got the up throw. Oh, I like that. It actually sets up a tech chase situation on the platform, and he just went for it. Gets a quick 51% uh, off of that. Okay, here comes a Galaxian ship. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that actually goes in, a, in like a few different set patterns. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, bit of a reaction there from uh, T. So if you're able to combo off of that, it's just shows that you just are so accustomed to how the many different variations and just like really good at reacting to it as well yeah i like how zachary is not falling towards the the projectile pressure that t's exerting he's just throwing like orange he's throwing like the the gyro back at him and going in with an area and he's able to defend himself through all three options potential gyro setup here no not quite gonna get that back throw put him off stage again yeah and rob you know you lose the gyro as well mm -hmm. high recovery goes straight to the ledge <laughs> I, love, I like the weaving in and out right there. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's actually part of the matchup I didn't consider. You, you can use the gyro and the laser to just move the hydrant. Um, most of the time, with like a melee character, you would have to like hit the hydrant, and then Pac-Man would be waiting behind it, and it would just hit you with like a key or something. But Rob has the exact same options to be able to put that away. Up throw, should be able to do it, yes. Wow, and I love it. The way he had left that gyro there, opting not to pick it up, kind of just forced T to take his attention away from what Zachary actually wanted, which was that up throw kill confirm. Mm -hmm. I like that from T. Uses a strawberry conditions him to go high just so that he doesn't get hit by the falling arc of it, and he's able to get intercept him. Try to go further with it, but not quite. Zachary is still on his first stock, gonna finally lose it to that back throw. T showing some signs of life. Galaction ship. 
Making his recovery back to the safe. Uh, a little bit safer, but actually Neron Shield not going to be so safe. Oh, yeah. That, oh, that, that's what I was oh, talking about. Yo. You try to hit the Hydrant away, and then so T's waiting damage. in there, and he's trying to get, like, 50 damage on you. That was from one Apple conversion. Yeah, and that's the tricky part about the Hydrant, too, because it has a, a certain damage threshold, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll see uh, Pac-Man set the Hydrant up on the ground, hit it a couple of times, um, and then if your opponent hits it a couple of times before you do, you actually can just knock it away immediately, so you can mess up your opponents like that, as we just saw. Right. Oh, 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 so wait, what's the wait? Oh, okay. God. <laughs> All right, Zachary just uh, jumps away. He's like, okay, I'm not going to try to challenge him this time. We, we've already seen that T is good at the mind games. And T with the bell in hand right now. If he's able to connect his bell, he should be able to find the stock. Yeah. You can tell T is trying to find so many reads on these parries. He just goes the shield and the shield drop multiple times. He's looking for it. But Zachary is just waiting out when he can throw out the projectile. That orange oh, did it. Oh, absolutely. What? <laughs> I'm I'm lost. I didn't know that that orange had so much kill potential. I, I didn't either. <laughs> obviously, uh, neither did the game. The game didn't tell us any indication that he was Yo. gonna die right there either. Well, yeah. I mean, that T taking another stock what was potentially looking like a really big lead for Zachary. Slowly fading away. 124% still doable, oh. but not when you hit back the Hydra. That's exactly what he was looking for there. Yeah. Forward smash with enough strength to completely knock the Hydra off of it the ground. So Zachary gonna take that first game. Actually, that was game two, right? Yeah, <laughs> game two. It's kind of funny seeing these two, how different they are. Zachary, of course, very calm, chill, collected in his chair. T, very energetic, just like a cartoon character. He's yeah. very animated, just very contorted. Likes he, to put himself in a lot of positions. He's Mr. Pac-Man. He's Pac-Man himself, dude. That's why he means the character. <laughs> yeah. T, Pac-Man. <laughs> All right, I'm going to game three this time. All right, so we're one and one here, going right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Hydrant already out. Hydrant is uh, such a tricky thing to play around a lot of the time because it's on the ground, right? It has the water, and Pac-Man can do so many different creative things off of the uh, wind box, the water wind box. Um, and not only that, but it pushes your opponent back, so it, it, create, it automatically creates space for you to set up other tricky options. Right. Oh, big opportunity here. He's going to up throw into the forward area. Oh, wow, just space right outside of that laser and able to get those dares anyway. Big out of shield option. <laughs> the cherry forces him to go low. What does he do afterwards? Keeping up the ledge control. The hydrogen is available. And it will push him towards him. He tried to take advantage of it, but T was ready for it. He's like, nah, nah. You're not doing the same tricks on me. Yeah, that was really smart. All right, directional air dodge into the ground, getting the tech and avoiding his own hydrant. All right, bells in hand. Man, that, that run up down tilt from Rob is just so scary because you're thinking like, okay, is it going to confirm into a kill? We did see Zachary actually use those down tilts to hit an up smash if you can catch your opponent jumping out of, uh, out of it. Mm -hmm. Right. It looks like T's for the most part just taking yeah. those hits, like accepting them. As, as you should, yeah. yeah. All right, the bell finally comes out, not able to quite follow up with it. And he tries to grab it, but accidentally jabs it instead. Okay, and there was down tilt to dash attack. That one will definitely pop your opponent up. So if you can get a couple more of those at like the mid percents, you may actually be able to confirm to a kill or just get the read mm -hmm. into that kill. Try to get a combo with the gyro toss into the up air. Doesn't quite follow up with oh. it. Yes, force smash. You try to challenge the fire hydrant again. That's another stock. Yo. Yo. Oh my god. Right, Pac-Man's grab still sucks. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, that didn't look <laughs> it like he should have grabbed, but it you know what, that works. That time. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he hit me with that a couple of times where it was like, I was like, oh, I'm I'm, I'm good here, right? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> get sucked in anyways. Yeah, I mean, it's like true Galaga, right? You just get sucked in. But here we go. Potentially off stage one more time. What's Zachary going to go for? I was expecting another off smash out of shield. He was, looks like he was trying to do that last time, eliciting the bait with the, the fair. Not quite happening this time. Now what's interesting about like uh, Pac-Man having the gyro in that scenario is that I mean T already feels so comfortable with projectiles after all his character has the bonus fruit and he's able to like do so many different creative combos with it that item management is uh, not not something foreign to T at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
the I, like, mm -hmm. I like that idea from T, trying to use the melon, a very slow moving projectile to force Jack Ray to jump. But he was ready for it that time. He was landing with the neutral air already pulling it out before he was starting to land on the ground. So T got intercepted there, and then that was just a quick reversal, able to get that stock. T charging the fruit. He's got the apple. Bell. All right, Bell's going to be what he needs right now. He's going to use the, the hydrant. Nope. And that's another thing that uh, Rob also has. that He's able to, like, sort of actually... From a long range, right, if he catches T hitting the Hydrant a couple times, mm -hmm. he can shoot the laser from far away to knock that Hydrant right back in his face. Right. There, still not enough to take out this big, clunky robot. Goes for the back throw, tries to read the jump with that. I like the idea. Not quite able to find it. Able to grab it, not getting the up smash either. Zachary still keeping up the pressure, still trying to catch him. Oh, the air dodge barely comes out. How does he get back from the stage here? He's not getting any sort of room at all to breathe. He gets sniped one more oh time, my and the God, gyro the forces gyro. out the air dodge. But he's able to finally make it back and get a reverse off of it, the survival yeah. from T. Neutral air, putting T back into the game. He's at 138%. He gets grabbed here by the ledge. Down throw into the up air, and that'll do it. Zach Ray taking game number two, or three, excuse me. Yeah. I'm all off on Going up 2-1. Going up 2-1. Nice. He does not look amused. Nice, oh, he, nice. he definitely does not look amused. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, man, why do, why do you get to zone me? I'm supposed to zone you. And Zachary's like, pick a different character. I dare <laughs> you. I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> Give me that wolf. Wait, wait, wolf. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? He's actually daring him. <laughs> nah, do it. Do it. I want to see it. No way. There's no way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's he's got. He's got to stay. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Damn. He's got to stay on brand, man. <laughs> he's not gonna do it. You're right. You're All right. righty. But here we go. All right. Game number four. Zachary up two one. Have we played every single game on this stage so far? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, the Japan rule set is like Battlefield game one, game two FD, game three Pokemon Stadium. So love I feel it. Like, I feel like they just go on this continuously. So. I mean, why not? It's got the best music. It's pretty great. Yeah. Two platforms. Wide open stage. Another potential combo? No, it decides to throw it on the ground. Potentially get the ledge control with it. <laughs> great nice. anti-air with the up tilt. Yeah, able to secure two up airs afterwards as well. Racking up the damage quick. Oh. Zachary in a really bad spot right here. Directional air dodge back to the ledge. Keeping himself a little safe. Yeah, I admire that Zachary knew the limits of where the side B was going to end and how he could get back to the stage. Yeah, it's very smart from him. Just be able to take risks and not necessarily die for them. Okay, gets the grab here. T, charging the fruit a little bit. Another gyro setup. Apple doesn't protect him. It doesn't go to the stage. Unfortunate. Gonna get clipped there, but he's fine. Still back to neutral. Nice to uh, get a lot of damage out of it for his troubles, though. Ooh. Okay, that was so slick. He threw the uh, apple at with the water. And it's going to be crucial for uh, Zachary to be watching as T charges the fruit, right? Because depending on what he's got uh, in hand, it's going to tell him, like, what, what does T want? Like, how does he want to kill me? What is he trying to set up for? Mm -hmm. Ledger grab. Uh, I, tried to, I think he tried to drift towards it so he could get it. Oh, but he's going to get the key anyway. That'll do it. Galaxian combo, yes, gonna go those up airs. Tries to get the up tilt to pick him up and the grab just for good measure on the tech chase, but that just leads it to free kill for Zachary. Yeah. Maybe in a, in a million years of end lag. Yeah. Because Pac Man. Oh, yeah, catches him landing with the jazz. Great parry also. Oh, and the, oh. the hydrant, yeah, gonna snipe him out. Tries to catch him go low with the key, but not quite. Nice, beautiful down tilt right there. Keeping up a lot of pressure by the ledge here. Every time he throws out a grab, I gotta, I gotta like hold my breath a little bit, man. <laughs> it's just like, what's gonna happen to you? Big potential option. Oh yeah, he tried to go through the platform for the mix-up, but Zachary is ready for it. That nair just covers so much space. He's able to cover both options at the same time. Okay, he's got the bell out. Ooh, just runs up and throws it in his shield. He says, "Why not? If you drop it, you dead." Yeah. Try to hit him into the into the bell with that fair potentially when he thought he was safe from it. Two-step level conditioning, but Zachary not taking the bait. Oh, that was so scary. Okay, I'm glad he used the get-up attack. Just kind of beat out the uh, hitbox of the gyro as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I was trying to shield this time. Already crossed him up, but Zachary's still going to be alive here. He's got the key. Got to be careful. 
Try to I'll drop fight. a Hydra. Okay, oh. goes for the turn around grab. The up throw, still not enough to do it. Okay, run up down tilt, following up with the fair off stage. They're really trying to call each other out on these jumps. You can see T those also yeah. trying to bait them out, but neither of them, again, not taking the bait. They're not falling under the pressure. Hanging on to the ledge a little bit too long. Gyro going to clip him. Yeah, just got caught underneath the hydrant. Yep, jump is gone. What does T do? Tries to go for the key. But just off on the timing just a bit, and Zachary good on the survivability as well. Both these two going hard on each other, and that... Finally, that gyro is going to be able to take it. Okay, man, the melon just going right through the laser. Slow moving projectile. Uh, it's cool to see, like, um, melon setups. I want to see more of those. Like, he can run along the slow projectile to mm -hmm. kind of just, like, mask his, his, uh, his own approach. Oh, my God. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, the apple sending completely upwards and killing... Off the top. Yeah. That apple doesn't look like it's going to just send you straight up, but yeah. it did right there. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. It's such a good tool, for, uh, like, off of platforms and at the ledge as well to, to get an edge guard. Right. Man, it just sucks that the up tilt range on Pac-Man is not the greatest. So every time he wants to get a follow-up, he kind of just has to bag on Zachary being able to come in. Wow, the grab actually makes him go through the hydrant. Like, it reached, like, across it. That was crazy. PT making quick work of Zachary. He's got him at 117%. Oof. Yeah, but this is Rob we're talking about. The big yeah. damage can come out at any moment and a quick down throw to up air. That might be able to seal it out. Pretty okay. much double the percent separates these two players, but Zachary is still not out of it quite yet. Here's the bell. Is that the ledge? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. That yeah. downer doesn't have a spike hitbox, does it? It doesn't, no. It just sends you sideways, but he didn't get the sideways hitbox. That kills. Yeah. That really sucks, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, he actually hit it through. He, he, if he got hit by that, he might have been dead actually from that high up. Zachary still looking for it. He's got a couple of big opportunities potentially to bring this back around. Oh, uses the up B to go right around the key, trying to cover that ground space. But T is not able to find the stock because of it. And Zachary is just finding all these projectiles to almost snipe them there at the edge. And what's the option going to be? The trampoline comes out, he spikes him off. The side B comes out, but he doesn't get the spike on that either. And this is down to the wire right here. T, of course, being down a game, and he finds the back air to bring himself back into the set. Game number five here between Zachary and T. Yo, T is sweating. <laughs> He's just like, oh, man. Dude, he had to work for that yeah, one. That was so hard, dude. <laughs> That's what he was thinking. It's like, damn, that Rob really brought it all the way, almost brought it all the way back when I was, like, at half the percent he was. <laughs> he, he, like, the way T is looking right now, he's, he, he definitely looks like he's having fun, but he's not having fun. He's yeah. like, oh, <laughs> My God, I can't believe I have to do this right now. Listen, no. <laughs> it's like every time, it, every time T is like, should I try another? Ah, nah. <laughs> it's a bait. It's a meme. All right, Sacre and T game five, Pokemon Stadium, all the way through this set. Two evenly matched players on an evenly balanced stage. Yep, some would say. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, <laughs> that fourth throw looks so funny. He just like whacks him off. It's really <laughs> funny. All right, what's the ledge hack gonna be? Yep, he uses the gyro, keeps himself protected, and the nair. Oh, the avoidance there from T. Really great recognition, uh, knowing to di away to completely avoid the spinning arms, which would have KO'd. Almost sniped him off. Has to use the trampoline. But again, that nair is just so good at clipping him. Right as soon okay. as he tries to pick a ledge option. All right, T has not made it back to the stage for the last like 20 seconds. Finally making a way in. Oh no, there's that grab which just gets easily punished by that up smash by Robin. It's like you don't have to le even try super hard as Rob, you just run up mm -hmm. and that suction hitbox on the bottom pulls him right into the up smash. Yeah. I guess with those like setups like fair to grab or something like you just kind of have to hit, you just have to like commit to it before you know which direction you're going. Because yeah. every time he's been getting in the wrong direction and Zachary usually gets a stock off of it, it's unfortunate. But hey, man, if you're a Pac-Man player, you got to make use of what you got. And in that case, it's going to be those setups that don't necessarily always work or are just not super guaranteed. Yeah. So he makes it work regardless. Yeah. Bring Zachary to game five. Like, come on. And it just goes to show the caliber of player, for real. Yeah. Oh, that shield looking like an M&M right now. And I like that. He uses the pressure. Catches that spot dodge, too, at the end of it. Still trying to find his way around the stock. That force smash not going to connect. That's a big opportunity for Zachary. Yep, stays right outside the grab range. Another potential ledge trap. 
Not getting the nair, but still, the grab is just so bad. Dude, he just went for like three grabs in a row. No, oh my god, he air dodged that. There was no way. If he, Jesus, he's still fine? Oh my god, dude, what? Nah, dude. So <laughs> much great recovery. I can't, re I can't commentate this. <laughs> Yeah, T was just all over the place, and as soon as he thought he had the opportunity with that last trampoline hit, he's just able to tech that and just keep himself alive, and all those side beats finally able to make him back and reposition himself back to stage. Yeah, T is certainly a warrior for this one, man. He's down a whole stock at 131%, pretty much on his last life if he's unable to find an answer, and the answer will be the key, finally taking off Zachary's first stock. Flip him back on down way below, though. Still 133%. I feel like an up throw on the, like, the Pokemon Sena platform. Yep. Or, or down, down throw, throw into yeah. the up smash. There mm -hmm. we go. Zach Ray moving up 2 to 1. Game point right here. And it's been so hard for T, man. He's, uh, Zach Ray has done a really good job of putting T off stage and having a gyro at the ledge to kind of thwart his recovery attempts there. And not only that, but chasing him off stage, racking up mm -hmm. so much damage consistently. After all, Rob has a really great up special, a really good recovery tool to make it back. He's he's allowed to pressure uh, his opponent like that. Mm -hmm. Now, T already on his last stock and just the percent is climbing. Yeah, yeah, T's just trying to put up the pressure with his projectiles, but Zachary's just one step ahead. It's unfortunate. Can't really make anything work so far. Okay. Take the preemptive grab. <laughs> Yo, man, if Zachary just stood there, then he probably could have gotten the up smash and the kill. So T is still willing to take those risks. It's very interesting to see. Oh, and the gyro slips off. I mean, I feel like that's how bad that grab is, right? Oh, beautiful tech. Yeah. He's got it down to a science and going nice. to get that ledge trap, too, with his own gyro, look like. Oh, no, please. Oof. Still makes it back. Really oh, difficult cool. for Pac-Man to make this back, though, I feel. Oh, it's it's definitely really tough. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. He's not gonna get that spike either. Man, T is just getting all the lucky breaks today. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of RNG doesn't hurt. Oh, I guess I'm not the last hit of that back. Oh, this air. is a comeback, man. Yo, no way. No. Oh, Yo. man, he had that read so hard. T playing absolutely out of his mind. Here comes the hydrant. Man, He's got so the smart from him. Oh no, down throw. Is he dead? Oh, he just air dodges, mashes right so out of it. So smart. Yeah. The hydrant is still available. Zachary just trying to find one aerial. Oh. What the? Oh my god. And just like that, man, the number two seed in the tournament eliminated by T. Or, I'm sorry, not eliminated, but yeah, sent to losers. Sent yeah. to the losers bracket. Man, even in the small local crowd, you can't see it, but the crowd is popping off.